12,440 pounds. Tailing 413 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is my personal favorite of all the existing Talons, that being said, it's, it's also the biggest. But um, what's great about all the Talons is their consistency and the, uh, the really smart, intelligent feature equipment complement that they uh, have. Now, if you're curious to see what Talons we have in stock here at Halid RV, if you'd like to learn more about them, including pricing, because we actually publish fair market pricing right on our site. We don't make you a call for price. We don't make you jump through hoops. You don't have to give us your social security number just to walk around the dealership here at Halid RV. We are simple, easy to work with. Um, we have all that available in the link in the video description. It says check for price and availability. You are one click away from seeing what we have, how it is equipped, because this might not be the one we have in stock, probably won't be. Um, you can see exactly what options are in stock on the one that we have. You know, We make that very simple for you. Um, we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. Let's go ahead and get all that out of the way right now while we're talking, just to give you an idea. So. Why the Talon 413? Because holy cow, does everybody and their brother build a floor plan like this? So why this one? Um, that's what I want to focus on here. The recurring theme in everything that we're going to see talk about today is guts, nuts, and bolts. The Talon is all about guts, nuts, and bolts. Now, it has some good looks where they, where they could, you know, without being stupid with money. It has some very good looks, but it is all about guts, nuts, and bolts. This is, for the first time ever, Jayco's finally built a, uh, a toy hauling fifth wheel for the working man, working woman, you know. Uh, not everybody needs that beautiful, but uh, potentially over $100,000 seismic, you know. Um, that being said, we don't come anywhere close to that on seismics here at Halet RV, but I've seen them listed for that anyway. Um, this it's everything you need nothing you don't but it is all guts nuts and bolts okay so i keep saying that over and over what do i mean 21 foot power awning on all talons here at halet rv um the uh the nose cap actually has some really smart looking stuff it's got normal like led accents but then you've got these like glowing beams right here these orange glowing beams give it just such a cool look at night that being said in the middle of the day with the sun shining on it can't do much for you um, they're all generator prep standard. They have a 40 gallon fuel station that is shared between the fuel station, well, 40 gallon fuel cell shared between the station and the generator prep up front. Very much like uh, an Eagle ish. You have room for like at least four, I'd have to measure, maybe more batteries, easy access battery disconnect. This has the same climate shield insulation package as the rest of Jayco's fifth wheels. So you are actually still seasonally rated. Um, that protected water docking station right there is part of the reason why. Enclosed forced air heated insulation insulated underbelly. Now, you want to talk guts, nuts, and bolts? Here's an industry best, not just best in class, industry best Goodyear Beast tires with highest load rating and uh, highest speed rating at 87 miles per hour. Uh, I'm not recommending you tow this that fast. What I'm saying is that this has the best rated tires of anything on the market. You, there's going to be brands, there's going to be manufacturers that argue, oh, it's overbuilt because you shouldn't be towing that fast anyway. I'll take overbuilt versus underbuilt every single day of the week. These giant, beefy looking radials are just amazing. You can't just put bigger tires in other brands. Often, the wheel wells won't accommodate something this size. And this still has the same Moride CRE 3000 compression rubber equalization suspension as your big luxury fifth wheels, you know? There's a good look at that fuel station. Now we have added the SantaCon uh, turbo dump station to this, which is that second door that you're looking at right there. What that does for you is, and there is always a manual bypass on it, by the way, just in case uh, you are curious. There are still normal uh, dump valves. But it can, uh, it's a power exhaust system and macerator. So by breaking up solid waste and having a power exhaust, it can empty your tanks twice as fast. Now you want to talk tanks. Let's talk tanks. Let's talk Talon, Talon tanks. Uh, the, uh, the Talons have, get this, standard, 136 gallon fresh water capacity. And what's awesome about that is you can completely uh, utilize that with your other holding tanks because this has an 87 gallon gray tank capacity with a 50 gallon black tank capacity. So I've seen brands where you can have a big freshwater tank but the other tanks cannot accommodate all the water of the freshwater tank or 
the, the black and the gray tanks don't add up to make sense in relation to the freshwater tank. This one does. This has all of the logic applied to it. Now we've got power front leveling jacks, power rear stabilizers. We have outfitted this one with a second air conditioner, but that is an optional piece of equipment. You're going to see two or three specific options as we go, like the SantaCon that I mentioned there. Um, you know, there's all kinds of different benefits here. Now, uh, we've got the patio party deck system on this. This is uh, rated for 3,000 pounds in the loading position, 1,500 pounds in the patio position. So more than enough weight to, you know, fully accommodate everybody there. Uh, let's see, I'm making sure I don't miss anything. LED lights under the awning, talked about that, talked about that. I think we're doing good. I think we're about ready to take a peek inside. Oh, LED lights inside and outside. So. Not even just LED taillights, but LED marker lights as well. And that is something that's still not even standard, even on luxury fifth wheels, not even just outside toy haulers. So things that can cost literally twice the budget of the Talon 413 here at Haylet RV, uh, they, they don't have some of the baseline nuts, guts, and bolts equipment of this thing. That's what I like about these so much, just everything that really, really matters. It's all wrapped up, it's, it's clean, it's simple, and they didn't go too overboard on equipment. So it's got all the equipment that matters, you know, your, your good air conditioning system, your good insulation system, the, the full 102 wide body, you know, your big wide body, gen ready, patio deck, everything that matters, it's all here. What else do you need? I mean, that's the thing, it's got everything. Here's what else you need, peace of mind. How about that? How about peace of mind? How about being comfortable and happy with what you bought? That's another area the Jacobs shines supreme they don't offer just structural warranties they have the longest full coverage warranty in the business they have twice the industry standard whole house warranty basically so <laughs> you know they, they they cover it all they do it all they do everything everyone else is doing in that regard and then some and they generally do it for twice as long so how's about that for peace of mind how's about that for protecting your investment let's go peek at that garage so if things look a little hazy right now, it's because we're actually enjoying the benefit of the full retractable magnet latch uh, screen wall on the back of the talons here at Haylet RV. And what's great is you're not paying additional option money for that. This is standard. And there she goes. Give it a just a little bit of assistance on the recoil since it's cold and we're good. So everybody and their brother has these Happy Jack queen bed atop a pair of folding uh, sofa, which can fold down into additional bed things right here. I do like to point out, just for those who are not familiar with it, that you can actually ride down the road with them flat against the wall or in the up position, like you see this one, to give you either maximum load width or maximum load height. You can kind of choose your own adventure here. But here's another awesome thing on the talents here at Haylet RV. This is a full 13 foot garage. All talents have minimum, minimum. 13 foot garage with a dozen uh, recessed D rings that are mounted to uh, steel chassis reinforcements. There's chassis reinforcements welded directly to the frame that these things are anchored into. They're not just screwed into the floor. See the dovetail for easy loading back here? So if you've got it, well, here's the reason a 13 foot garage is a really big deal. If you've got like a side by side and it's 12 and a half foot long, you cannot buy a 12 and a half foot toy hauler garage. And here's why, that thing right there, these patio decks, when they fold down and you fold the uh, toy hauler door up, they protrude roughly four to five inches into the RV. So a 13 foot garage is really only like a 12 seven garage. You have to think of it that way. That is because that's the real world measurement that's gonna determine whether or not you can actually close the door. In a Talon 13 foot garage, you can close the door every time. Now this is a bath and a half and loft, bath and a half, bath and a half loft model. That is trickier to say than you would think when it's freezing outside, your brains freeze. So we've got a full half bath over here. I love that this is carpetless so that you can walk in here with your dirty boots after a ride, foot flush stool for easy use. Now all the countertops in this, you'll see more of this in the kitchen in just a moment when we step inside but they're all the uh, sealed edge countertops. So if you splash water on that really extra large sink, you're good. And even here in the half bath, we still have a nice vanity where you can actually have, uh, you know, all kinds of um, extra soaps or whatever. You can use this. Here's another thing with toy haulers. This can easily be converted into an alternative bunkhouse. So you've got that queen bed up top. That's a power drop bed. And uh, 
that oh by the way oh man I don't want to let me zoom up here I forgot to talk about this last time and I kicked myself for it so you see that vent there is a switch here in the garage to open that vent lid and turn on that fan you don't have to climb on stuff you don't have to mess with anything you can activate that from ground level mom and dad you don't have to tell the kids climb up on your bed and turn that fan off or on you can control this so the queen bed can drop down about halfway, or you can leave the bed up and drop down the sofas, but those can drop down also. So this can be a, a, a two to four person sleeping uh, bunkhouse back here. And that's what's interesting is there's actually in a, a very large increasing number of people using their toy hauler garage as an alternative bunkhouse. You're not crazy for even considering that. And in fact, you might be smart because this, I mean, where, how else are you gonna transport a bunch of bicycles and stuff? Bike racks are one thing, but they're always kind of a challenging solution. What if you can just sort of bring the bikes in and strap them down with some bungee cords and just hit the road or kayaks? You know, it's hard to mount kayaks on the roof of something. It is not hard to just slide a kayak in here and close the door and bounce down the road. It's not gonna hurt anything. That's what's great about these. And again, 1500 pound rated patio deck here, but notice the little differences on Jayco's garage doors. You notice how it's got a radius corner? Not a dog-eared square edge corner. Talk to any, any structural engineer in the world and they will all tell you how radius construction is better, stronger, gonna last longer than dog-eared right-angled corners. Not that there's anything wrong with them. There's good, but this is better from, again, guts, nuts, bolts. That's what this thing is right here. Let's step inside, shall we? I gotta say... I just, I really like, appreciate the rugged simplicity of the interior of the Talons here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. They've done such a good job of really hitting all the things that are important. Like, you've got great kitchen storage in this model. You've got these double tower pantries, if you will, where you can see from floor to ceiling. You've got all this very expansive, deep pantry storage. And when you when you get into it, when you feel the grade of the hardwood that composes the cabinetry doors here, it is really impressive. And uh, you can see where that's actually the you know the woodworking they're using there is actually shared quite a bit with its big brother Seismic. But again, this is the uh, working man, working woman's family type runaround unit. Someone who still maybe works for a living. You know, you can see where they've nailed everything. I mean, you've got crazy good countertop space in this floor plan in particular. You've got this this huge long bar. If you're going to entertain some friends or family, you've got all the prep serving space in the world. Your TV actually can swing out, even though standing here. Like, if I take a seat in the, uh, the big triple recline and party couch that I'm on right now, you can see it great. But the TV can actually swing out and pivot out for even more optimal viewing from within the slide. Or you can kind of crank the TV around to be more visible from the kitchen, so there's no real loss there. But all the little touches they've put in here are so nice. And what you can really kind of see is how if you take like a Jayco Eagle and you strip away um, all of the over-the-top glory of an Eagle, don't get me wrong, oh my god, it's an, it, Eagles are just awesome. I love the Eagles here at Haylitz. But if you uh, go through and you boil down the things that just really... Oh man, good good hinges on those right there. Uh, really matter. This is kind of what you're going to find. This really has the core heart of an eagle in a toy hauler. But instead of spending money on sizzle and flash, again, this is 100% awesome structure money. Now, they did spend smart money in here. Where you see money spent in a talent, again, it's smart money. So, like you've got your uh, sealed edge countertop, so there's not a, a, a seam right here where water can get through. Notice we've got stainless sinks here in the kitchen. So again, heavy duty, long lasting, rugged stuff. Notice that little LED under light under the countertop here. And that's a perfect little night light, you know, if you want to kick that off and on. One, it, it is a nice little, it's a touch. It's a good, smart, inexpensive touch, but it, it's functional too. Because it can be a nice little night light track runaround light. There is storage below the oven. You see that you've actually got a drawer below the gas electric traveling friendly refrigerator. And that's, see for me, that's like a pizza stone kind of thing right there. Um... The, by the way, you, you can cook a, uh, a frozen pizza on a camp oven or on a, uh, a campfire. You got to learn how to do that because that is just fantastic and fun when you're out there. 
big pantry right here in the slide. Nothing gone to waste. Actually, what I, one of the things I like about the interior of the 413 Talon here at Halet RV, when I first got into it, I had difficulty locating the cabin lights. As funny as that sounds, I looked up here, I'm like, okay, yep, we got a lot of big centralized cabin lights. And I walked over here and went, huh, um, okay, no control center. So I start looking under here. I start looking on slide out walls and I'm like, well, that, that's the light switch for the lights in the slide. Where's the switches at? And then it kind of occurred to me. And now that I say it, it seems obvious and it seems silly that I couldn't locate it, but it's so clean and seamless how they integrated that right into the existing kitchen cabinetry. So it keeps the little kid hands away from it. It's so clean, so simple. Everything in this is so streamlined and smart. And you see that trend recurring through the entire Talon 413. Um, you know, the, again, extra countertop prep space here. If you want to throw some appliances or phone chargers or whatever over here, you can. They just, they didn't leave the wall blank and open. They didn't build this cheap. They built it smart. And that's just the, re, the, the, the message of the day in a talent here at Halet RV. Um, as we spin you around, baby right round, you've got, this is one of those optional pieces of equipment that may not necessarily be on the one that we have in stock here at Halet. So keep that in mind. But you've got this triple reclining party couch and your two end seats with the armrest, those are heated and massaging. And that's common in toy haulers, but not at this price point. At this price point, you tend to get a lot of dinettes. And it still has smart jazz money put into this. Big cross breeze windows, big visibility windows, big uh, all kinds of headroom clearance in here. And actually the ceiling light fixture within the slide out has a very motor home like feature to it in that it actually has a padded noise dampening soft touch liner up here. And uh, you've got the loft to top here. That could be, uh, we call it a loft as though it's going to always be used as a bunk, but frankly, most people end up using that as attic storage. You can really purpose it either way. And obviously we have that pass through door to the garage below. I mean, this is a common floor plan. This is a very common floor plan. Everybody and their brother builds it. But again, what you're getting here is pure structure guts money. The message is on a talent is always guts, nuts, and bolts. That's what this thing does so, so well. Little detail stuff I noticed too, because this is the kind of stuff that I've learned to look for over the years. As dumb as it sounds, look at bathroom doors. This has a lock. And I point that out. It's not that they're the only ones that have ever done it. Like, whoa! But it is uncommon. It is. Uh, it's, I've been talking about it a lot lately because it's something I've kind of just really become in tune with. Now, your bathroom here. This is not a small counter. This is a big sink. That's a really big sink that adults can get their hands into with the same backsplash that you'd find in the kitchen. Now, they still put a big vanity in here, so your, your shavers, your toothbrushes, all that stuff, you can keep it up out of the way. You have all kinds of extra, like, toilet paper or toiletry storage below. The nice big corner shower over here that splits open from the middle. What that means is that even though you have all this floor space, you don't have to use that floor space to back up and wiggle around the shower door, the swinging angle corner shower doors. Those things are kind of a pain in the neck. But what this floor plan does so well, they had plenty of room for just really impressive bathroom storage in here. If you want to keep all of your towels, extra blankets, linens, overflow pantry space, this can accommodate anything and everything you could dream of throwing at it right here. What else I've noticed, opening all these big doors, a lot of big cabinets like this I've noticed in the RV industry, the center style that I'm holding onto right now, they can get kind of flimsy. But if you start looking, this is all thick. This is all pocket screwed. This is all glued. It's pocket, it's pocket screwed, glued, and tattooed, if you will. This is going to hold together. This is made for hard, rugged, long-term use. Up front, very simple but effective private front bedroom. I do like that we've got just the easy, you know, one switch, hey, welcome home lights here in the in the bedroom. Probably shouldn't keep flipping that in case somebody's epileptic. I should always warn people that. I never think about it. Um, but uh, you now you may have noticed second air conditioner. That's an option. That's not necessarily on the one we have in stock. Remember that this video may not be the camper that you're buying. Keep that in mind. Um, Again, we publish everything right on halidrv.com. Visit the link in the video description. Call our team to make sure you're getting the one and the equipment you want specifically. So um, some people are going to say, oh, I, I really like 
that you have a, a full length hanging wardrobe without that sharp corner that I could hit. And some people are going to say, ooh, I like that wide open stand where you can hang a CPAP machine, or hang, huh, set a CPAP machine or phone chargers. Well, the problem is, you, those two things fight one another. You can't have a full length wardrobe and a nice little shelf like that. So they split the difference and they gave you one of each. You decide which one you like, but notice this is a full walk-in height bedroom. There's no step up around the bed. And this is a, a full wide body coach, remember, 102 inch wide body, so that we have a very large, easy walk around bed. And this does have um, easy lift bed storage below. The, the bed struts right there lift right up to give you easy access to all that. So that should give you an idea of some of the benefits that the talent here at Halet RV has. Again, we carry a lot of different brands of toy haulers. And they're all the best for a different reason. That's why we carry a mixture of, uh, you know, Jayco's and Keystone's and Forest Rivers and other things. All kinds of stuff. So give us a call. Learn more. See how this one uh, may fit and benefit your family. And remember that they're all good for different reasons. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.